Hi everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the mechanistic possibilities for the light responsive metallograms for photodynamic cancer therapy. Before I begin with my topic of research, I would like to talk a little bit about photodynamic therapy. What is PDT and why is it important for cancer treatment nowadays? Photodynamic therapy is a cancer treatment which uses a photosensitizer activated by light in the presence of oxygen to kill the cancer cells. It produces reactive oxygen species such as singlet oxygens, to, which are uh, photocytotoxic in nature and they kill the cancer cells. Therefore, the photosensitizers with high singlet oxygen quantum yields are desirable in our case. Conventional PDT relies on oxygen but there are some tumors which are hypoxic in nature and which is the major barrier of PDT because the tumor will be rendered ineffective and the, it can grow back and it can metastatize as well. So in order to uh, get some photosensitizers which can work under hypoxia as well, we are looking for some compounds which can kill the cancer cells under hypoxia too. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the compounds that we are studying in our lab. These compounds are ruthenium-based photosensitizers having the ligand DTFMB that you can see here. And moreover, there are a number of compounds in this family that were synthesized in our lab by the addition of the five-membered thiophene rings. These molecules are studied as a delta-lambda enantiomer, a racemic mixture of these two enantiomers. The photophysical pathway here explains the production of the singlet oxygen molecule through a simple Jablonski diagram that you can see here. The photosensitizer in its ground state is activated by the light when the, light, when the compound is illuminated by the visible light or any other laser light that we use to activate these compounds. And, from its, and it reaches its singlet MLCT, metal to ligand, uh, metal -to -ligand charge transfer state. During its, trans, uh, during its transition to triplet metal to ligand charge transfer state to ILCT, which is triplet intra ligand charge transfer state, there is production of singlet oxygen molecules from the triplet oxygen molecules through energy transfer. And these are the singlet oxygen molecules which are responsible for the photocytotoxic nature to kill the cancer cells. Furthermore, we are studying the singlet oxygen quantum yield of these molecules using the actinometric method as well, which ranged from 0.64 to 0 0.06 for, these, for this compound family that we are studying right now. Moreover, uh, to study the pharmacokinetics of the compounds, the log D value, the distribution coefficient of these compounds are also studied using the octanol saturated with phosphate buffer solution in a shake flask method. Higher the lipophilic value is, if it's in positive range, that means the compound is lipophilic in nature. And the lower the log D value is in the negative range, that means the compound is hydrophilic in nature. And it helps us determine the route of administration for the, uh, for the cancer therapy. Furthermore, we studied the cytotoxicity of these compounds in the SKMR28 melanoma cell line. Here you can see the cytotoxicity and the phototherapeutic index value for all the compounds in this family. These SKMR28 cell lines were studied under normoxia and hypoxia using the uh, various light sources to activate the photosensitizer. Namely, we use the visible light, we used uh, 633 nanometer red light, 523 nanometer green light, and 453 nanometer blue light. Phototherapeutic index value are the ratio of the dark EC50 by the light EC50 value. And as you can see, with the addition of number of thiophene residues, the log EC50 values are decreasing and the phototherapeutic index values are increasing. That means the compounds are very much effective in their cytotoxic nature. We are also interested in investigating these compounds in various other cancer cell lines and various other species of bacteria as well. We are also trying to resolve the delta lambda enantiomeric mixture in order to test for the stereospecific toxicity. And moreover, we are also working on the photophysical and the electrochemical properties of these compounds to elucidate the mechanisms responsible for the hypoxic nature of photocytotoxicity. In, at last, I would like to thank the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry at UTA and the National Cancer Institute at NIH for all the funding and the support that they provided us. And thank you so much for your patience for listening to this video.